Y a también va. I remember that first time gasping through the bright light into the cold dark night after blackness and quiet and the instant feeling of despair as I remember that hell is a cold place in its deepest pit. I remember watching the gray machines roll into my town followed by the gray men in their gray helmets and long gray coats with thin lines for mouths. I remember their guns as they caught about 50 of us from our homes and shops and fields that day. They ordered us to set about repairing the old bridge that had been destroyed by the Polish army to slow the invaders' advance. My father was the town carpenter and he spoke their language, so the Germans immediately appointed him to be the director of the reconstruction. Some of the men fell trees, some of the men sawed timber, and some of the men stood in the shallow river and held the beams in position. As the sun sank behind the trees, one of my neighbors drove the final nail into the last plank and we were finished. The Germans had us sit in rows in the town square as the panzers crept over the makeshift bridge. We could hear the wood and metal street, but the bridge was sound. I remember watching a group of Germans standing around their commander at the cafe that he had claimed as his headquarters. The commander finished his coffee and then walked towards us. He stood there with his hands clasped behind his back and he asked us, Wem waren sie in Juden? Nobody answered. Only one of us understood. The commander's jaw tightened and he walked towards my father, stood before him and softly repeated his question. I remember my father closing his eyes for a moment. Wir sind alle Polnisch. The commander's jaw rippled and he popped the clasp on his holster. Ich habe gesagt, mein kleiner Freund. Wir sind alle Polnisch. There's an all manner. As the German drew his luger and swung it up to my father's forehead, I could feel my voice rising up in my throat, my body lunging towards his arm. I could feel the rifle butts as they fell upon me, crushing my skull and jaw and arms and back. And all that I could see was the ground as my head hung between broken arms as I was lifted up by a gray man on each side. And I remember the tip of a luger hooking its sight under my chin and lifting my gaze to the eyes of the man who had just murdered my father. And just before the commander's finger flexed on the trigger, I cried, Ich publikatje him ego ducha do cosmosu. Then I realized that the feeling of cold snow falling on my bare skin and the scent of the earth were strikingly familiar to sensations that I'd had as a living man. I caught the scent of what I knew could mean only one thing. I struggled to my feet and ran off into the forest where I found them. All of them. Stacked like so much firewood as it seasons for the coming winter. I remember seeing the cuff of the familiar leather jacket. I frantically drug his body from the pile my instincts, telling me that by removing him from the death I might somehow bring back his life. I carried him to my mother's grave and buried him next to her, but I couldn't think of anything to say. Neither of these people needed prayers to God for forgiveness. God hadn't intervened to prevent my father's death or the slaughter of our entire town. And it wasn't God that had brought me back. When I finally opened my eyes, there was only one thing left on my mind. I remember the hunger. I haven't been able to understand most of what you've said the past few minutes. You lapse into what sounded like a Slavic language. Maybe Russian. Do you speak anything other than English? It was Polish. My parents were from Poland. I didn't know that your parents immigrated. When did they come to America? They didn't. They didn't make it out of 
pulling the school board book out. I came to America by myself. You came to America by yourself? Are you maybe confusing your parents and your grandparents? You look exhausted. Maybe we should call it quits for the day. Yeah. My grandparents. Nick? I think we made good progress here today, though. Everything's gonna be fine. It's a damn good thing she doesn't understand Polish. I'd have to unravel this carefully spun web of lies that I live. The countless times I've been reborn, the things that I've done, the people that I've killed. Even if they deserved it, you're not allowed to just dash out the evildoers of this world. How incredibly unjust that they can die, and I can't. I dream of the time my eyes will close forever, hoping that one day I'll earn my way out of this endless cycle, paid for with the blood of evil men.